Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be discussing the hormonal effects of maca root. Recently over an email or Instagram or YouTube, somebody asked us about maca root and whether or not maca root is actually beneficial for balancing the hormones and is it particularly beneficial to the thyroid gland or does it interfere with thyroid function and cause imbalance to the hormones in the body? So if you know anything about maca root, this is actually a really good question because you're going to find research and articles on both sides of the spectrum. You're going to find research that talks about how maca root is very beneficial for the hormones and how it has an adaptogenic anti-stress effect and lowers the stress hormones while improves the functioning of the thyroid gland. But then you're going to find research on the other end of the spectrum talking about how maca root actually can interfere with thyroid function and have a disruptive effect on the hormones. So I figured that this was a good enough question to make a video on and I would clear the air once and for all because there's actually some very simple explanations for this confusing or conflicting information in research. So let's start off by talking about some of the beneficial effects of maca root on the hormones by browsing through this article that talks about the balancing effect or the hormone balancing effect of pre-gelatinized organic maca. So this is actually a really good research paper and it's rather thorough in regards to the hormonal effects of maca root, particularly on the effects of the thyroid hormone and thyroid gland, the various thyroid hormones in the body, estrogen, and cortisol. So in the study, mice who had their ovaries removed were supplemented with pre-gelatinized organic maca and then their blood was drawn and tested for the levels of all these hormones. If we go through each one of the different blood analysis, first taking a look at the effect that maca had on estrogen and progesterone levels, the results of this analysis showed that supplementation of pre-gelatinized organic maca in mice or rats with their ovaries removed had significantly reduced levels of both estrogen and progesterone. While in sham operated animals, only the estrogen serum concentration was reduced with an increase in progesterone. Moving along and taking a look at the blood analysis of the various adrenal stress hormones, this analysis found that the use of pre-gelatinized organic maca significantly reduced the levels of glucocorticosteroid hormones, cortisol, and ACTH in rats with the ovaries removed while there was no significant difference recorded in sham operated mice. And lastly, taking a look at the effects that the pre-gelatinized maca had on the various thyroid hormones, this blood analysis found that the use of pre-gelatinized organic maca actually increased the levels of T3 while decreasing the level of T4. So in summary, this article found mostly a beneficial effect in regards to balancing the hormones with the use of organic pre-gelatinized maca. So now looking at the other end of the spectrum, there are some potential negative effects of taking maca root, but it really comes back to the type of maca root that you're taking. As this study pointed out, the beneficial hormone balancing effects of maca root were achieved through the use of a pre-gelatinized organic maca, which means that it was ultimately cooked before turned into a powdered supplement. And this is incredibly important because the maca root in of itself is actually a cruciferous root vegetable that does contain glucosilinates, which are chemicals that have a goiter or antithyroid effect. So they're goitrogenic in other words, which means that they can actually inhibit the secretion of T3 from the thyroid gland, which can result in goiter or hypothyroidism. And in addition to its antithyroid effect in its raw state, maca root does also have anti-digestive qualities as well. For example, it contains a lot of resistant starch and complex or difficult to digest sugars known as oligosaccharides, which can result in gas and bloating, which could further inhibit thyroid function by impairing the conversion of T4 into T3, which happens in the liver and in the intestines. So the simple answer to this person's question that I mentioned in the first part of this video, is maca root beneficial for balancing the hormones in the thyroid or not? This really comes back to a matter of quality and the way that you use maca root. It's really important, just like with any other cruciferous vegetable, that the maca root is cooked or either pre-gelatinized. So if you're using something like an organic raw maca powder, you're going to want to make sure that you cook it first. I would recommend that you toast the maca in a stainless steel skillet before you add it to your tonics and coffee. Otherwise, you're going to want to make sure that you get a pre-gelatinized maca that removes the goitrogenic chemicals in it that would induce the antithyroid effect. So as long as you're either toasting or cooking your organic raw maca or you're getting a pre-gelatinized maca, at least according to the research, maca root does have a hormone balancing effect in regards to most of the hormones in the body. So again, to quickly recap, it is beneficial for the production of thyroid hormone and lowering TSH. 
It does have an anti-estrogen effect and an anti-cortisol effect and a general anti-stress effect. However, that does bring this video to a close. If you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos if you haven't yet already. If you're interested in reading some of the research papers I shared in this video, you can find those along with links to our blog, online tonic herb shop, and online wellness academy all in the description box below.